Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at Google Meet and we're going to look at how to create a link that you can reuse for multiple meetings. And this would be something that you use outside of, let's say, the link that's in your Google Classroom. So one of the reasons that you might use this is if you're one of those teachers that has multiple classes and you have those kids wanting to check in with you during a flexible instructional day at a certain time, let's say you have office hours, then you need one link that you're going to share with multiple classrooms. So very similar to how you would do it in Zoom, you're gonna create this link and then post it in the stream of your Google Classroom. So to create this link, go over here to the Waffle to Apps and then go down to Google Meet. Click on that. And this is the main Google Meet screen and you'll see over here on the lower left-hand corner, you have a new meeting. So you can click that. And then you wanna select this, create a meeting for later. Now you can see it created this link. You can copy this link. You can then post that in your Google Classroom in the stream or you could email that to parents if you need to meet virtually with a parent. So one thing you're gonna to wanna to do before you share this with students or parents is you wanna go actually into the meeting and make sure that you have it set up the way you want. So one way to do that is I've created this link. I'm gonna click behind the forward slash and I'm gonna highlight these letters. That's the code that goes right here where it says enter a code or nickname. So I'm gonna actually just right click this and copy that. You could also control C that. Then I can close this and I'm going to put it right here and click join. When you do this the first time, you're going to get a prompt that it says allow access to your camera and microphone. So make sure you click that. And in this case, my, it says my camera failed because I'm using the camera right now to make this video. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click join now. So now that I'm in my meeting, here's what you want to do. Go down over to the lower right hand corner. There's a icon of a lock and this is the host controls you're going to want to click that and then when you go in here to host management you can control some of these settings and it's up to you whether or not you want to allow participants to share their screen send chat messages reactions and so on i'm going to go down here though and i want to look at meeting access so one thing i recommend is you set the meeting access to restricted so if you're used to Zoom, this is very similar where you had a waiting room. In this case, you'll see a list of participants that are asking to join the meeting. So you can let them in one at a time as long as you click on restricted right here. If you'd rather have your students come directly into the meeting and not go to the waiting room, then what you can do is you can click trusted and anybody with an organizational email, like anybody with a Fleetwood email address, will go directly automatically into the meeting once you start the meeting. By default, this is a setting right here. It says host must join before anyone else. I think that's always good to keep that on so that no one can meet in that room without you being there. Make sure you copy and paste the code so you don't lose that. Put it somewhere safe. You can email it to yourself somewhere you're gonna remember where it is. And again, to start that meeting, you can either click the direct link, whether it's in an email or a Google Doc, or you can go back to the Google Meet homepage through the apps and then you would copy and paste that code right here where it says enter a code or nickname. So I hope that video helped you. I'm gonna be making several other videos about Google Meet and I'll try to make them short videos so you can just chunk the different parts that you need so it's not one long video that you have to try to scroll through. If you have any questions, you could always email me at kbollendorf at fleetwoodasd.org and until next time, have a great day.